A very good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are all good. Like I said, we're out for the beginning of the Alola to Alola event that's going to wrap up not only May, but the whole season of Alola. And I have to say thanks to Pedro for the Rock Rough Raid in Portugal. I'm not actually 100% sure what to cover. <laughs> in this event given that we've done everything over the last three months anyway and also we're doing it with horrible weather much like yesterday so we're gonna see how today pans out most damage done by me smug blue douche sadly not would have been nice but appreciate the invite rock rough achieved i don't actually need one i need a hundo thank you which this isn't it was in there cricket with a final strike nice it's not a shiny we are very a long way from the hundo so let's go and grab some breakfast. Breakfast and coffee down the hatch can finally open up the research, which is a branched research, is a proper branched research, not some stupid faffing around. Alola to Alola, already done stage one, because I've caught one, I think you have to catch one of the starters, or you have to catch a certain amount of Pokemon, which I happen to have already done. So a Rowlet, cool, we'll just silver pine up everything and see if it breaks out and is a complete bastard. It's dead stats on that Rowlet. Litten, still need a hundo Litten. 418. I suspect this is not a hundo. No XLs because it's a research task and wow that is dead. We know it's Poplio but if it could hurry up. I don't know, the game's been a bit laggy. Poplio. I don't need a hundo of this until the shiny comes out. Pony Island or wherever it is, the most recent one, is the one for me. I know that you have to do GBL but that's fine. <laughs> so here we go. One of the islands Pony Island, I think, gives you the most amount of star pieces. Star pieces, ray pass, and something else. So we're going to rock and roll with Pony Island. I don't even give a toss about the Alolan Executor. So we'll rock and roll with that one. See what we've got to do. Because I'm all about the 12 kilometer eggs. So that there is a rocket radar from completing tasks. So catch 10 Pokemon, make three nice throws, and defeat two rocket grunts. Excellent. And the collection challenge is a lot of evolving unfortunately so we've done all the catch we need to evolve a bit of everything now and just like magic with the power of editing the collection challenge is done we have to evolve basically everything and catch a cubone and catch a rattata 15,000 whatevers and this is not a blue doge so we'll hit it with the silver pipe up and the great ball get it down I guess continue with the research <laughs> that's very little else to do but we do have a very cool evolution shiny shadow evolution to do at the end of the video this is dead rock rough. So now, what do we need to do? More Pokemon catches and rocket grunts. At long last, we managed to find two rocket grunts. Like, I don't know, it always seems to happen. The moment you actually need to beat some rocket grunts, they vanish from the, set, the face of the game. Another rocket radar, some silver pineapples, some star pieces, and that is a long list of tasks. Oh my God. Professor, could you hurry the hell up? Like seriously. Battle in Go Battle League 10 times. Uh, <laughs> Defeat four rocket grunts. Well, I've struggled to find two, so God knows how long is that going to take. Powerful Pokemon ten times for a star piece. Rocket leader defeated, and win three GBL battles to get three star pieces and the Sensu or a Corio hat, which I kind of wanted to be honest. But the rewards there are good, and this is the point. Well, say Sunday is a Mega Pokemon GBL day, where I think you'll be able to use Mega Pokemon in the GBL system for the first time ever. It's happening all day Sunday. Planning to live stream it, ladies and gentlemen. So we will actually be doing a GBL stream for the first time since 2020. Oh, horror. God help me. <laughs> you ever wanted to know what Pokemon Go would look like if you were flying? Well, here you go. This is um, the aerial of Team Rocket's radar glitch view, <laughs> which I somehow managed to achieve by trying to activate the rocket radar to look where a leader is and then hatch an egg over the top of the, the layover. So now we've got vertical Pokemon Go. <laughs> this is actually really weird, very peculiar. Cliffy smashed in the face. There we go, glorious. 12 kilometer egg achieved. And um, I already have one Shadow Shiny. Not another, not another. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to some PVP stat Shadow Cubo. So Shadow Alone and Marowak could be utilized. Alone and Rattata is spawning over the course of this week and there is a badge for, or medals, for tiny Rattatas. So catch all the Alone and Rattatas you can because it counts towards the medal. It's like the opposite to PvP. 15, 10, 4. Brilliant. Get in the bin, you bastards. Down here somewhere. I still need to platinum it. I'm three quarters of the way or so to platinum. So I'm going to catch every Rattata I can. And the second cliff. Done and dusted. So, 
not a shadow shiny. Uh, it's lower CP than the one before. Maybe, maybe it means a lower attack. Please, apart from evolving the shadow shiny Cubone at the end of the day, there's not much else to do. That was a waste of time. We managed to find the third cliff. I think it's the final cliff around this area, to be honest, having looked at things. Be a shadow shiny. Wishful thinking, 206. Uh, it could be better, could be worse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I needed this shiny. It's my second shiny young goose. First one able to put on a vlog, which is excellent. That means shiny family completed. We could just evolve it straight on the spot. We were just chasing rocket grunts for a bit of dust, see what we can get. Yes! That that means that shiny... Actually, shiny Alola is sorted then, isn't it? Because I've got all the rock rough needed. That's the young goose family done. So that's basically it. I don't need any more. This is zero star, I'm really bad. Let's have a look at the encounter number because that's always interesting. 739, Caleb, 447. So actually a bit quicker in terms of getting that. We've got a 100%er, a 0%er, and now the shiny family completed. I think we'll, should we evolve Caleb? Or should we keep Caleb? Let's just evolve this one that we got just now. Complete the shiny family, shiny gum shoes, whatever it's called into the Pokédex. Shiny Pokédex. Thank you very much. Nice. Now we need Dusk form... Ooh, that is a bit more sort of magenta than pink. I like that as a shiny. Nice. Actually, I'm sorry, it looks a bit like Meg from Family Guy. Perfect. Alolas were Lola. Saw it. Done, mate. Completed it. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. Back to back. It would have been hysterical. So far, where we're at, research. It's now just the GBL battles, which I'm going to save for Sunday. Uh, with a live stream which will get prepared. There is a grunt at the top. Rockruff check. Sadly not, but thanks Professor58, Light Robert, and Shiny Music in DJ. All Patreon squad jumped in on that Rockruff raid. We're going to look to round out this little mini adventure. I've only been out for about three hours. <laughs> There's very little else to do with this event. The only thing remaining is if we search up Shiny and Shadow and it's terrible stats, like horrendous stats, but this is one of the rarest shinies, one of the rarest shadow shinies now available in the game. We'll send it over to Alolan Shadow Marowak. Great shiny, if you can get a good one for PvP, evolve it in this window. You literally have until the end of the month to do this. There it is, the purple and the blue together look insane. What a nice addition to the collection. Fantastic. Defo a gym troll, for damn sure. Unfortunately, he hasn't TM frustration off of it, but who really cares? The hunt for a PvP stat one does continue, um, because obviously, as I said, there will be a PvP GBL stream for pretty much all of Sunday, but I'm very pleased to have got that. Shadow Shiny. Genuinely, that's about it <laughs> with this event. The event quests are a bit dead. Uh, the spawns basically are. It, this is one of those things where it's sort of like, if you missed one of the events over the course of the last three months, it's a chance for a little bit of redemption. If you're still hunting a shiny, like Young Goose I was, and didn't expect to get it today, which is rather good, it's an opportunity to go and get it. But other than that, if you've played for the last three months consistently, this is kind of a dead week. And I'm hoping the season through June, July and August is going to bring some more exciting stuff. Best of luck for this event. My ultimate recommendation for the whole of this week is catch every single Alola Rattata you can and catch every single Alola Meow if you can because the Meowth is boosted Stardust, catch, which is excellent, can't say no to more Stardust, and Rattata, you need it for that little medal. And if you're still hunting for Platinum medals, it's definitely the best event to go for it. Other than that, best of luck for whatever shiny you are chasing if you're searching for a particular hundo. I'm probably not gonna film the rest of this this week, to be honest, so you won't see me until Sunday for a GBL stream with Megas involved. And I wanna see if we can get some Megas into Ultra and Great League. Not my 0% level one <laughs> shiny Charizard. But let me know in the comments below if you like this event, if you're enjoying it, if you're looking for shiny redemption on the Young Goose or something else, if you're still hunting for Rockruff, very best of luck to you. And I will say thank you very much for watching everybody. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new with notifications on so you don't miss the uploads or live streams. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. As I said yesterday, do check out the Seville Safari Zone videos and obviously you can check out the little Amsterdam road trip that I did with Mr. Ian Waterfall. 
uh, I would greatly appreciate the support on those videos. Time and effort went into them. But before we round out, just say you can, uh, obviously the merch is linked in the description. Definitely go and check it out if you so please. The Snowden edition is up there. We might look to do some more little travel editions, shall we say. Might try and find a nice snapshot from Seville. I'll see you when I see you, probably for the GPL live stream. Do take care, everybody. Yeah.